Hi everyone. April 23rd, 2018. I'm going to read a lot of this article. Boy, are they doing everything possible to get people away from those conspiracy theory videos. I think that more and more people are doing research. They're checking things out. And YouTube knows it. So YouTube has to stop it. And they have to tell people what you are checking out is really fake news. All those conspiracy theories on, on YouTube, those conspiracy theories posting videos, especially on current events, like those mass shootings. You have to, you have to get away from that and look at authoritative news. It is so sick how many people we have in this world that are so damaged, so deranged, that they could literally spend most of their lifetime working on destroying truth for their own agenda, for money. As algorithms take over, YouTube's recommendations highlight a human problem, a supercomputer playing chess against your mind to get you to keep watching. It's unfortunate that we have so many people who are so easily manipulated because they have no clue who they are. They don't stand firmly on the ground in life. They can't because they don't know really what they're about, what they believe. They've never even questioned their own beliefs to ask themselves, is this my belief? Or have I just adopted somebody else's belief? Those beliefs that were handed to me in childhood, that, well, they were adults, so I believe them. But I never questioned them. When I became an adult, I didn't question them. So I just believed. We go through our entire lives completely and utterly indoctrinated by someone else carrying on beliefs that we adopt from someone else then we hook up in these social networks as adults and those beliefs get confirmed by those in our social network virtually every day we just don't question it because well they have the same beliefs so I, we must all be right It's a major problem. And it is true that they want to destroy people who actually know who they are, who live principled lives, who can stand firm and not be easily manipulated. But we have so many people who are easily manipulated. They don't think for themselves. They allow other people to think for them. They allow mainstream media to think for them. They allow people at YouTube and Google and Facebook and Twitter, the CEOs, the executives, to think for them because they don't know how to think for themselves. And it is getting so unbelievably tiring and dangerous. How NBC could even post this disgusting article. YouTube is a supercomputer working to achieve a specific goal to get you to spend as much time on YouTube as possible. Conspiracy theories, uh, conspiracy videos. Really? How difficult is it for you 
to, quote unquote, wake people up in your life? How difficult is it for you to get people to watch a, what is now referred to as a conspiracy video? Because what I've heard for six years on YouTube, it's exceedingly difficult for you to get people to watch videos that actually provide facts and evidence by those who actually critically think, who have done the research. Very difficult. But this article, it is telling you that people, oh, they just get so easily swayed to watch conspiracy videos? Really? No, they want people to get off the conspiracy videos. They want people to watch that authoritative news so that they can continue their lives. This article is telling me that mainstream media and those at YouTube and Google and that they're very desperate. No one told its system exactly how to do that. Artificial intelligence. YouTube built the system that recommends videos to its users. Former employees like this guy, Gilliamon Shazlot, I don't know, a software engineer in artificial intelligence who worked on the site's recommendation engine in 2010-2011, said he watched as it started pushing users toward conspiracy videos. Shazlot said the platform's complex machine learning system, which uses trial and error combined with statistical analysis, to figure out how to get people to watch more videos, figured out that the best way to get people to spend more time on YouTube was to show them videos light on facts, but rife with wild speculation. Wow! Unbelievable! Yeah. Well, those videos would be mainstream media videos, the authoritative news. They produce videos that are light on facts, but rife with crazy speculation. Crazy, obvious, insane information. Listen to this. Yes, I'm upset. I don't like lies. I don't like the insanity that we are living. Former insiders say it's one of the secrets of YouTube, how they try to hook you and keep you watching. And it's right here on the side of the screen, the suggested content YouTube highlights. If we look at NASA. So this is a news video. But then it recommends like 10 reasons people believe the Earth is flat. Maybe. Guillaume Chaslow worked at YouTube and its parent company Google as a software engineer until five years ago. He says YouTube wants to keep you on its site, often by suggesting additional content, even videos promoting conspiracy theories, because people tend to watch them longer. We just searched NASA, mm -hmm. and within one, two clicks, aliens, mm -hmm. government lies, mm -hmm. and potentially spying. Exactly. It's not everything YouTube suggests, but we found other recommendations generating similar false conspiracy theories alongside legitimate news and kids' videos. Searching Sandy Hook shooting at one point, and the top results included a 9-11 conspiracy video and claims the tragedy was a hoax. The problem, Chaz Lowe says, lies in YouTube's algorithm. Is YouTube basically recommending all of us videos just to keep us hooked? Yes, exactly. They are not even the videos that you might want to watch, but they are the best <laughs> oh my God. to get you addicted. The more videos you watch, the more ads you see. That equals more money for YouTube. It's a problem throughout not just YouTube, but Google, Facebook, all these companies, is that they've prioritized growth over anything else. But if growth is the goal, then user experience is not the goal. 
Chaz Lowe worked on a project to introduce more variety into results, but he says it was shut down because it wasn't good for watch time. He adds when he tried to keep it going, Google fired him. YouTube responded saying Google fired Cheslow for performance issues, adding that the recommendation system has changed substantially since Cheslow worked there and it no longer optimizes only for watch time and now uses additional signals like surveys, likes and dislikes. It says it has tweaked its algorithm to better show authoritative news sources and to focus on viewer satisfaction. But with fake news still making its way onto the site, a growing focus on YouTube as the world watches. Jolene Kent NBC News, San Francisco. Wow. Okay, so maybe what we are seeing, I can't see. For six years on the oh, Senate floor, God. Sheldon Whitehouse has been part now chemist. I I oh, thank you. Um, maybe people are now really beginning to do some research more and more. Perhaps YouTube knowing it because, well, they obtain all the data they want from people, what they're watching, how long they're watching. So that's why they chose to do this hit piece. YouTube, because they want to get people addicted, their recommendations are conspiracy videos. Okay, so people who are easily manipulated and don't want to oh, be regarded as a conspiracy theorist, they won't now go to the recommendations. The recommendations are for, it, it, they're based on the videos that you're watching. I look, it, it's hard when you have this kind of complex lying going on, it's hard to really decipher it. So, um, they are again telling people you're crazy if you're going to be watching a conspiracy video, but at the same time, they're saying YouTube is putting out those conspiracy videos because people get addicted to those conspiracy uh, videos. Who do you know is addicted to conspiracy videos? More and more, they see, and this is what they're saying, that their algorithm figured out, the artificial intelligence figured out that People get addicted to conspiracy videos. They watch conspiracy videos. That's why their artificial intelligence figured this out, figured out that people like videos light on facts, but rife with wild speculation. Okay. Wow. Lying, man. When you have people who lie over and over and over again, the only thing that you can do is back away. You throw up your hands. I, I can't, I cannot resolve this. It's complete and utter insanity. And that's exactly what mainstream media is, has done. How do you sort out? Lie after lie after lie. Lie on top of lies. Well, I can tell you that for all of the people that I have suggested that they go to YouTube and search a particular topic, and I'm not talking about you guys, I'm talking about people that I've met. Those that I know that I've said that to have not. They don't. And most people don't get hooked on conspiracy videos who are still caught in the matrix and just roll their eyes at conspiracy videos. They don't watch them. 
but here we're tell tell here we're being told by YouTube that their algorithm, their artificial intelligence has figured out that people do get addicted to them. That's why artificial intelligence puts them out as recommendations. Yeah. Okay. Routine searches on YouTube can generate quality, personalized recommendations that lead to good information, exciting storytelling from independent voices and authoritative news sources. But they can also return recommendations for videos that assert, for example, that the Earth is flat, aliens are underneath Antarctica, and mass shooting survivors are crisis actors. That's why they're doing this. They got too many people posting videos on those mass shooting events. Too many videos pointing out that these shooting events are not real and they post evidence real evidence. So, they had to do something. And it's not just a YouTube problem. Oh, it's a problem everywhere. But these algorithms, they are pervasive throughout modern society. They're used to give us a credit score to decide whether we get a job, interview, evaluate, college applications, they all use algorithms, weapons of math destruction. Several states are using these computer models to decide lengths of prison time or set bail amounts, and they perpetuate racial biases. And I read an article about that, and they do. Algorithms trained by human data are now present in the daily lives of billions of people and 2.2 billion of them are on YouTube. And YouTube, their algorithm, they're pointing people to the lunatic fringe of YouTube. Lunatic fringe. We're the lunatic fringe. This is so disgusting. So, this reporter was helping his son research outer space for his school project. When he searched for Saturn, the first results were mostly documentaries. One of the recommended videos was 10 facts you didn't know about space. That video led to additional recommendations such as, can you believe it, videos, a synthesized voice reading Nostradamus predictions, and a clip they don't want you to see of pro- Putin propaganda. It's a vast conspiracy ecosystem. <gasps> We're in an ecosystem. Every day YouTube serves around 1 billion users who watch billions of hours of video. People use it to search for the latest music video, learn how to fix a car, write research papers. The site's videos also make it into Google search results, expanding the reach to potentially billions of searches per day, YouTube has one of our, as one of our primary windows into the world, is shaping our understanding of it. Well, get, get off those conspiracies videos. They're shaping your understanding of the world. That's the point of this article. Don't go there. My God. Chaslot, a software engineer in artificial intelligence, this is what he said. This is dangerous because this is an algorithm that's gaslighting people to make them believe that everybody lies to them just for the sake of watch time. Uh, just a few minutes of this video. Listen.
It's not abnormal to get sucked into a YouTube rabbit hole because the site's recommendation engine is powerful and specifically designed to serve content you'll keep watching. But one ex-YouTube engineer says the way the algorithm is built can give a boost to fake news and conspiracy theories, serving them up to millions of unsuspecting users. This is Algorithmics, the space where we explore how invisible, computer-controlled, database sets of rules are making decisions for us every day. YouTube's recommendation algorithm has come under scrutiny before, but the recent school shooting in Parkland, Florida, launched a fresh spate of criticism. Following the shooting, the number one trending video on the platform was a clip claiming one of the survivors was an actor. YouTube eventually removed the video, saying it had been misclassified by the company's systems, and that they would make efforts to fix the larger issues. But a former YouTube engineer wasn't surprised, and he went public with his thoughts. Guillaume Chalot worked at YouTube from 2010 to 2013, and he said that while he worked on the recommendation system, YouTube was set up to maximize watch time, which is how long people spend watching videos. And what's good at sucking people in? Conspiracy theories. One wild headline piques your curiosity because it sounds so strange, and 15 videos later, you might start to think there's something to it. YouTube responded, saying the algorithm now takes into account not only watch time, but also user satisfaction indicators, like surveys or clicking the dislike button. But Google, which owns YouTube, keeps secret exactly how the site works. So Shallow and a small team launched another site called Algo Transparency, which they say identifies videos YouTube's recommendation system most often recommends based on a given search. The site displays the top recommended videos for searches in several areas, world elections, mass shootings, and science topics like whether the earth is flat or round. It's round, by the way. Search that query on YouTube, and according to Algo Transparency, you'll get more recommendations for titles with the word flat. The top result is a video titled 100% Proof the Earth is Flat, recommended 8.6 times more than the average. Search for Parkland shooting, and the site says you'll be recommended videos with titles including phrases like gun control, but also multiple shooters, bizarre, strange, and 9-11. YouTube has taken some steps to minimize misinformation since the Parkland shooting. Okay. Issuing well, all right, let's listen. Strikes, temporary suspensions, and partial or complete bans to more than a dozen channels pushing fake news, according to the outline. But the controversy highlights the larger issue of information and truth, amid not only a polarized political climate, but also the era of the social media echo chamber, where an algorithm determines what information ends up in your feed and what does not. In such an environment, it's important to carefully consider the information we hear and the source it comes from, to think beyond the algorithm. Yeah, because you're morons, so you need that little fancy video with all those wonderful pictures to tell you that you need to carefully assess the information that you come upon. Oh, man. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. The Parkland shooting. It's all of those videos that they took off of YouTube provided evidence. And you know how many adults will watch this or read this article and believe the horseshit that they are being told? Why? <clears throat> because they don't have brains anymore. We don't critically think anymore. We, we, are, we have been turned into these walking dead, I'm trying not to curse, people who believe whatever the authority is saying. And David Hogg, I posted a video showing, showing him on mainstream media, lying in one clip. He's saying that he was at home and heard that there was a shooting. So he got on his bicycle with his camera and went to the school. The other mainstream media clip, he's saying that he was 
in school and heard the shots. When you have evidence and you can't get through to people that they are being grossly lied to by mainstream media, by YouTube, by Google, when you have the evidence, that means that that person no longer can think. They have been controlled by authority. Their brains literally taken over by those who have planted planted lies in their heads and they just can't they can't be anything other than the lying receptacle. Once on the outside Chaslot said he created a program to analyze how the algorithm was re -recommend, was recommending conspiracy videos by using YouTube uh, using a YouTube account with no viewing history to search for certain topics and collect which videos were recommended to users most while good or harmless videos might be included in the mix of recommendations YouTube repeatedly invited users to click on certain videos much more than others. And yeah, it was those conspiracy videos. But we get to Sandy Hook. Researchers at Harvard conducted their own tests and found that the algorithm was more often drawing viewers to extreme content and unfounded right-wing conspiracy theories. Experts say the conspiracy videos are perfectly positioned to push our buttons and draw us in to consume more of them. Wow! Really? Signs that YouTube, YouTube's algorithm prioritizes. Hey, and they got this expert, Robert Blasquezzi, whatever, Jr. He's a columnist for the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, a nonprofit educational organization that applies scientific analysis to conspiracy theory claims. Oh, an expert is speaking, so let me believe him. What does he say? Conspiracy stories hit our emotional fight or flight triggers. The stories rest on the unstated premise that knowledge of the conspiracy will protect you from being manipulated. This in itself compels people to watch and absorb as much as they can and to revisit videos. The emotion they provoke is contagious. They provide ready-made explanations for complex and difficult news events. And here we are exhausted from trying to get people to watch some fact-based video. And these experts are saying that people are just drawn to these videos. YouTube has said it's simply reflecting what you users want to see and videos are chosen based on their individual profile and viewing history. So, if, if those videos, the recommendations, are based on their viewing history, then if somebody is watching those quote-unquote conspiracy videos, they'd get those recommended. If somebody's not watching those conspiracy videos, then they wouldn't get them recommended. Our job is to give the user a steady stream, almost a synthetic or personalized channel. Higher watch time means more ad inventory, more ads, more revenue. But just because people are willing to watch something doesn't mean they're enjoying it. Oh, really? So 
YouTube has a lot of people watching videos that they don't enjoy. That's interesting. Okay, but more than just promoting, which what is what YouTube does, and prioritizing misinformation, these digital tabloid channels can also distort democracy. Democracy. Right before the 2016 U.S. presidential election, Chaslot's research found more than 80% of the recommended videos favored Donald Trump. Searching Trump led to pro-Trump video recommendations, and searching Clinton raised mainly anti-Clinton video recommendations. <laughs> wow. You, and that's why she lost. Right. YouTube has taken steps to reduce incentives for some of the worst offenders. Content like mass shootings are not allowed to generate advertising revenue for their creators through YouTube. The other ways in which they took steps is to terminate channels based on community guideline strikes that you don't even know. You can't get what the strike was. What, 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 how did I violate a community guideline? Oh, you don't get to know why. Well, then how can I appeal it? Sorry, I guess you're out of luck. But listen to this. This doesn't stop creators from including links for direct donations in their video descriptions, their online merchandise stores, affiliate links for apps or paid mentions within the videos. Heads up, they may now terminate your channel if you have a link to PayPal. Remember, their goal is to destroy truth. So, you destroy truth? What, uh, what does that mean? You're destroying people and destroying their revenue. So, if it didn't stop people from posting on YouTube, how they reduce incentives, you know, they don't allow people to generate advertising revenue for particular subjects, if that didn't stop them, maybe, maybe not allowing people to link to where you can donate, maybe that will stop them. A YouTube spokesperson said, our recommendation system has changed substantially over time and no longer works the way it did five years ago. Well, that's true. While it used to optimize for watch time, it now has begun to shift focus to satisfaction. Hmm. YouTube has also tweaked its algorithm to better show authoritative news sources, especially for breaking news events. Have you done a search on YouTube recently? Especially on a breaking news story and what you get page after page is mainstream media news sites I'll link below to this article it is telling us something it's telling us an awful lot of information it is telling us that YouTube may be uh, getting ready to announce that you can no longer link to PayPal. You can no longer ever even say in a video, donate. By the way, if you want to donate, I'd be more than happy. You might keep me alive for another month. Smilingrocks at gmail.com PayPal. Go ahead, YouTube, take me off. But they're also telling us that 
the truth might be appealing to more and more people now. As the world continues to grow ever more insane, there may be more people who are now doing the research to understand what is happening. And they may be going to those conspiracy channels. Channels rife with facts and moving away from mainstream media. If mainstream media was still as successful as it was decades ago, we wouldn't even see this kind of article. They're losing their viewers because people now know that they are lying sacks of shit. Sorry to end this video with a curse. We're all adults. You can handle that four-letter word.